good morning, everyone. Good morning, officially, to everyone who has joined now. Good morning. Are you all able to hear me clearly? Yes, I can hear you. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for joining again. Thank you for joining Western STEM Academy. We we'll extend welcome to all our, our staff members, all our parents, and all our students. You're all looking very lovely today. We must admit that you're all looking bright, lovely, and we're so happy that you have agreed to be a part of this wonderful institution to provide online educational services for your children. So thank you so much. Thanks to all our teachers who are here today. Uh, not all our teachers are here now, but some will be joining later, as well as you'll see some of them tomorrow. We also have some students who will be joining us tomorrow. They're unable to join today. But we thank everybody who are here today and we promise that you'll have an amazing time. Are you ready for a great day ahead? Say yes. You don't have to say yes. 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 Awesome. We're so happy that you're on and I promise you that you will have an amazing day. All right. So I'm going to do the welcome. We have a nice little icebreaker that I feel like all of you will like, you know, but um, we're not there yet. So well, by way of welcome and introductions, just to tell you who I am. My name is Felisa Ricketts, and I'm an educational specialist. I see Saffron um, so far. You're having a good time, baby. I see you. <laughs> awesome. My name is Felisa Ricketts, and I'm an educational specialist. I am the founder and the managing director of Western STEM Academy. All right. She said she's trying to join. I'm not seeing her up here. Is trying to join. Tell her to try again. We're going to wait on her, but we're going to just do the introductions in the meantime. So as I was telling you, I am part of Western STEM Academy. The STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We have a quiz at the end, so I hope you're taking note. Yes. I am very passionate about education, and that is why Western STEM Academy has been formed. formed. We thank everybody who has basically agreed to allow us to basically be a team to do what we have to do in terms of education and going forward. We're so happy that you're here, all right? Now, I have a team of persons who are amazing. I couldn't have done this alone. I take this opportunity to thank my team for all that you've done so far. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. All right, so I'm gonna allow everybody to introduce themselves. So we'll start with the teachers who are here to tell us who you are, tell us a little about yourself, and let's get to know each other, all right? And then we have the icebreaker session coming after that. So teachers, where you are, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Let me see who is on now. Miss Campbell is on. Miss Taylor, Mrs. Johnson Hayes. Mr. Eglow, Miss Allen. Yeah, so you can go ahead and introduce yourselves, starting with Miss Campbell. Tell us who you are, please. You're muted, Miss Campbell. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Miss Campbell. Um, is it possible for you to allow me to share my screen? Permission to share my screen? Perfect. I'd love that. Let me go ahead and do that. Yes, perfect. You can go ahead and share your screen now. Okay. So is everybody? Good morning, everyone. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you clearly. I'm okay. hearing you. Very nice. So good morning, one and all. And I am Miss Campbell. Nice to meet you, Miss Campbell. All right, and I'm just going to go straight into the introduction. Awesome, thank you. All right. 
have a little bit of me a minute. Hold on. All right, so since um, this is taking a little bit of time and I don't want to take up all the time, I just want to say that I am Miss Campbell and I am a, a ICT teacher and business teacher. I am all for technology, but as you can see, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties. I've I put together a nice little presentation to express or to show who I am, but I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties, but I am one who is warm. I am very kind. I am very, I'm a very fun person of education and I do, I'm a strong lover of STEM and I am also an a passionate person of, about technology. So all those students will be in my class. I hope you can, you, you are expected to look forward to a lot of technologies in ICT. You'll be exposed to a lot of different learning management system. As we say, it is not all, all about um, writing and you'll be exploring a lot of uh, different tools on the internet. So after you after you have completed the class, then you will be, you know, very techno savvy. Yes, so that is what my class will bring to the table. So I'm looking forward to working with both the parents and students. And for the rest of the session, I hope that you have an amazing journey. And I hope you can see the little motto on my screen with, all, with Christ, all things are possible. So we know that there will be a lot of possibilities for you here and we're looking forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Miss Campbell. I love your PowerPoint already. I can't wait to actually look at all of it. Thank you so much. All right. We love that. We love that. Thank you so much. All right. All right. So we'll now go to our next teacher. I can see everybody on the screen. Um, when uh, You can stop sharing when you're finished and then we can go to the next teacher who is there. Miss Allen, are you here? Miss Monique Allen? Are you hearing me? All right, we can actually go over to Mr. Kenton. Mr. Kenton? Mr. Kenta? We want all the teachers to just introduce themselves and then we'll be going over to our parents and our students, all right? In the meantime, while we, pre we prepare for Miss Allen and Mr. Kenton, we'll next have Miss Taylor and uh, Mrs. Johnson Haynes. But in the meantime, I just want to welcome Miss Winsome Lawson. She's an educator at heart. She has spent so many years educating and she'll be giving us uh, just a little bit of all our wealth of experience, telling us about education, its relevance, and how we can really be successful successful, sorry, and especially about STEM and uh, basically education in this crisis that we're having, all right? So we're looking forward to her presentation, but we just want all the parents, teachers, and students to tell us who they are so we can be better familiar with each other, all right? Miss Allen, are you able to hear me now? Miss Allen? Oh, she actually um, is trying to join back. All right, Mr. Kenton had some challenges as well. Miss Taylor, are you here? Miss Taylor? Yeah, hello. Good morning, Miss Taylor. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name, my name is Nadja Kish Taylor teacher of human ecology which comprises of food and nutrition home management and clothing and textile i am looking forward this new unpredictable school year 
to work with you all and uh, hope that we can make 2020 the year of choice 2020 to 2021 the year of choice okay Oh, thank you so much, Miss Taylor. So I realize the STEM areas are coming out, but we cater to all subject areas. So we have a focus on STEM, but we have all subject areas as our focus. So we use STEM to teach those areas. Okay, so we'll move on to our next teacher who is here, Mrs. Johnson Haynes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson Haynes. All right, so I'm Mrs. Haynes, primary educator, specializing in literacy. Um, I, I am looking forward as well to work with you all. I am a mother of three, let me say, so I have to love children. Um, to get children all involved and um, to participate in learning, it is something that I love, so I hope to have all the children involved, engaged, and ready for the academic year, which we are now approaching. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mrs. Johnson Haynes. So she told you that um, she is our primary education specialist. So she'll be, the primary students will see her a lot. So she'll be in charge of the primary section. She'll be supervising our primary school section. So if you're in the primary section, you'll see a lot of Mrs. Haynes. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mrs. Haynes. All right. We are going to our next teacher. Miss Allen said she had some challenges hearing us. So as soon as she's able to hear us better, then you'll hear from her. But we'll move on to Mr. Egler. Good morning, everyone. I am morning. Mr. Egler, and I'll be focusing on primary education. I'll be teaching grades four to six. I like to think of myself as, I, I'm a science person. I'm a lover of science, but I like to think of myself as a multifaceted person. I like to get to learn new things. So maybe I can be somebody that learns a little of the technology too and so on. But I'll be focusing on social studies, integrated science, mathematics, and so on. I know it's going to be a great year. So far, many persons say that 2020 is not such of a great year, but I know that persons that are going to be in my class they're going to know that, yeah, Mr. Egler is the best teacher. So thank you for having me, and I look forward to working with you all. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Egler. That's the spirit. I love the spirit already. Thank you. Um, right. Ms. Griquette, so, sorry to interrupt. Is it possible to get a quick look at Ms. Johnson Hines and Mr. Egler? Um, I didn't see them. It's just a picture on the screen. Oh, yes, yes. We want to see your faces. I just want to see your faces. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm in primary section, so if you say hi really oh, quick. Oh, yes. and he's dressed up. Look at that. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to hide from us. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> just need to see. Uh, oh, but she left. Miss. Oh, there she is. Hello, okay, because I will have two in the primary, so I just wanted to say hello, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry about the interruption. <laughs> awesome, that's fine, we welcome that, thank you so much. That's a good point, we want to see everybody, just to see your face, so when we see your face, especially in the icebreaker section, that's going to be very important. We're going to need to know who is this person, so... We're going to have to share. So if you're not fully ready to show your face, you can get ready in the meantime because you're going to need it for the icebreaker. All right? Uh, awesome. So we were introducing teachers. Mr. Egler just went. All right. Miss Allen, are you able to hear any better now? Any better? All right, no problem. As soon as you're able to hear, then you just indicate and let us go. Let me type to her. All right. So have all um, teachers received a chance to introduce themselves? 
everybody got to introduce themselves. If you're a teacher and you didn't get to go, now is the time. I might miss your name on the screen. All right, so not as yet. All right, so as we go ahead, now we're going to start with our parents. So we'll start with our parents from the primary school, and then we'll go to our parents in the high school. So we can go ahead to start. So Mrs. Yordanka Akwanza, would you like to start? You're muted. Okay. All right. Everybody, parents and teachers, my name is Jordanka Kwanza. I am the mother of Zab and Enzo and the guardian of Jessica. So I will have three kids join the STEM Academy. I am very grateful that Ms. Ricketts have come up with this idea. It was about time teachers came together and realized that you don't need an institution to educate our kids, especially now. So I thank you for that. Uh, I am from Cuba originally. I've been living in, in Jamaica for 17 years. My kids are, bi are bilingual. We speak Spanish at home as well as English. And um, I am sure that they will be friends with your kids and love the teachers, Ms. Hines and Mr. Egla so far. So. Awesome. Thank you so much, Miss. Thank you so much, Mrs. Akwanza. All right, we're happy to have you. Thank you. All right, so we'll go now to Zion. Zion, are you there? Zion's parent, Miss Mitchell? Yes. Yeah. All right, perfect, Miss Mitchell. All right, um, first of all, good morning to everybody. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. You can show us a, a sneak peek um, so we can see you if, if, if possible. If possible. Right? No, it's kind of dark. <laughs> We're That's seeing all? you. It's very bright. <laughs> all right. So I am the parent. Oh, I know what's happening. Um, you can mute one of your devices. I feel like you have more than one device in the house. So mute one of the devices because probably you're close. Okay. All right, let me just move from beside Zion. Yes, yes. All right, so I'm the parents of um, two students that will be joining the STEM Academy. And um, they're Zion Coy and Suri Bird. And I'd just like to say that I'm really happy that we came across this opportunity because it was scary for me to think uh, about what was happening with the pandemic and um, having them actually go into school. Um, during the lockdown, I realized that both my girls were a little bit more engaged into school via Zoom class. I thought maybe why not try this and see if we get a better reception from them and of course you know participation um so i'm excited i'm looking forward to seeing what um you have to offer and um of course i'll be engaged as well thank you for your thank time you so much thank you so much for joining us we're happy to have all of you so far thank you all right so we're gonna move down the list now miss the parent of Aiden Wellington, Miss Athena For Forrester, are you here? Athena yes. Forrester. Athena, yes, sorry yes. about that. No problem. Thank you. Um, well, my name is Athena Forrester. <laughs> this is my son, Aiden Wellington. Um, he's to start grade four. We're curious as to what is it you have to offer. I'm very happy that you have uh, offered this platform so that, because, well, I had no problem with him during the, the summer because I think students should go, um, children should just go out, run up and down, enjoy themselves. So he was doing a, quite a lot of that. Not, not much book work, but I think he will catch on because he's very quick. Awesome. So, Thank you for having us. Thank you so much as well, Miss Forrester. We're happy to have you. Thank you. We're looking forward to have you to having you, Aiden. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Awesome. We're happy that you're here, and we're looking forward to a great time. All right, Aiden. Thank you. 
All right, so we're moving to Mrs. McDonald. Mrs. McDonald? Hi. Hello, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Saffron. Stop. This hey. is Sayuri. She's five. She's going into grade one. We are curious and excited and a little bit nervous um, to see how she will really integrate to this new system of online schooling and, you know, getting to meet new friends. Everybody sees your lipstick. We're very excited. We're looking forward to what you have to offer. Awesome. Thank you so much. And we're so happy that you're here. Hi, Sayuri. How are you? Awesome. We're so happy that you're here. Thank you. We're going to have a great time together. All right. Awesome. Am I missing any primary parents? Am I missing any primary parents? All right. It seems that um, the others are not on as yet. So we'll go to our secondary school or high school yeah. section. Yeah. So um, we have, a, well, Mrs. Akwanda has a children in the primary and the secondary as well but we just uh, met her so you won't have to reintroduce yourself you know that you also have um, a child in grade 11 awesome thank you all right so we're moving down our list and we're here now tajina russell she's on no i don't think she's on i'm gonna have to call her to find out what's happening with her all right nathan love are you there yes miss so Nathan, tell us about yourself. Your um your mom is beside you. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, all right. You can go ahead and tell us about yourself. That's fine. Oh hi, my name is Nathan Love. I am 13 years old and I attend at Belfield High School. And my favorite subject are math and visual art. Awesome. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Nathan, and we're looking forward to an amazing time with you. Thank you so much. All right. Yes, Brianna Ball's parents, are you there? I saw Miss Patricia earlier. Miss Patricia, is she there? Oh, Brianna Ball is here. Brianna Ball? Yes, miss. Awesome. Good morning. Tell us about yourself. My name is Brenda Ball. I am 15 years old. My hobbies are reading, playing, and singing. In the future, I'd like to become a dermatologist. Awesome. Thank you. I love that. Thank you, Miss Brianna. All right. So, um, Miss Patricia left earlier. She was on, but I think she will rejoin later. No problem. All right. So, am I missing any high school parents? We did, Miss Brianna. Mrs. O'Sullivan. Mrs. O'Sullivan? Are you able to hear us, Mrs. O'Sullivan? Hi, good morning, all. Good morning. Um, hearing you loud and clear. Good morning, all parents, all teachers. Um, I'm quite excited. Um, to be honest, when I saw the, the advert on the Twitter account, I was a little bit skeptical, but after speaking to you, I realized this is real and um, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a scam. All right. This is my son, Yazar. Morning. He's going to introduce himself. Hi, my name is Yazar Sullivan, and I like to play Minecraft, PlayStation 3 Edition, and I like engineering and science. Awesome. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, he is 11. I'm 11. He's oh. 11, and he's supposed to be going to first form at the Cedar Grove Academy. Awesome. So. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much, and we're happy that you're here. As you spoke about that, I remember the stories, you know, like when person saw the ad, they were like, what kind of scamming is this? Or what kind of scamming is this? I'm like, oh no, this, we're not scamming. This is a school. We're offering educational services and we're happy to have your child. However, if you don't trust it, I'm not going to force it because I understand the climate that we're living in and you can't hurt persons for feeling like that. You know, you can tell them, but we really understand and we really encourage everybody to be careful yeah. as well. All right? So thank sure. you. We have... Um, no. Somebody had something to say? You can go ahead. I didn't hear you clearly.
All right, as soon as you're ready, you can um, tell me what you are saying at any time. All right, Miss Blay, Dina Shea Blay, go ahead, darling. Dina Shea? My name is Dina Shea Blay. I'll be attending grade nine. Uh, oh, sorry, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dina Shea. I will be attending grade nine. I go to High School. School. Um, yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to a great time with you. Who am I missing? I feel like I'm missing somebody. There, there are two teachers who didn't introduce themselves as yet, but there is Galaxy S7. Did you get a chance to introduce yourself? Galaxy S7? Oh, I know who that is. That is Miss Mitchell. That's Miss Mitchell? That's no. Me. That's Miss Mitchell? Sorry? Zion Coy. Oh, Zion. Yes. Tell us about yourself. I like to do I like to do science and art. Awesome. I love that. I like gymnastics and coaching school. Yes. Yeah. Anything else you want us to know about you? Yeah. Yes. yes, we're happy to hear. All right, later. All right, you're going to tell us shortly. Thank you so much for sharing. All right, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone. Miss Allen, are you hearing us any better? We're going to hear from Miss Jenkins shortly and Mr. Kenton. There are three teachers who didn't get to introduce themselves earlier. All right. So, Miss Allen, you hearing? She said hardly, it's breaking up for her where she's at. All right, no problem. If you, all right, let me tell her to type, um, to type her introduction to everybody instead so she know what we're doing, all right? All right, so Miss Jenkins, we're gonna go over to Miss Jenkins. Miss Jenkins? Hi. Good morning. I hope you're seeing me clearly. Awesome. Yes, we are seeing you very clearly. Hello, Thank you. I'm on the different way you bring. Yeah, the milk is in the supermarket. Milk? Yes. I'm Amoe Jenkins and I'm double math. So I'll be focusing on mathematics across the grades. I'll also be teaching history. So a little about myself. I love numbers. I love words as well, ironically, yes. I love to interact with children and I have a passion for what I do, especially mathematics as our children to be. The challenge I have most times is that they think it's hard, especially because what they hear from mommy and daddy. So I'm here to let them understand that, come on, we can do this. We can. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Jenkins. We're looking forward to an amazing time with you as well. All right, Mr. Kenton, we didn't hear from you earlier. Mr. Kenton? You hearing me? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, perfect. You can go ahead. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Romain Kenton, and I'll be teaching geography to grade seven and nine, seven to nine. I am happy to be a part of the team. I just All want right, to say about open mind about and ready to learn. Awesome, thank you so much, Mr. Kenton. We're happy that you're here and welcome, welcome on board. Welcome our teachers, our parents and our students. Thank you so much for making it Western STEM Academy. Is there anyone who didn't get a chance to introduce him or herself? Anybody at all? Me, miss. Awesome, go ahead and tell us who you are, sorry. Tell us about you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sue Bird. I am a student. I am a student of St. John's Prep School. Yes. 
My favorite subject subjects are science, art, art and craft, and math. Awesome. Thank you so much, Suri. We're happy that you're here. Thank you. Anybody else that we missed? All right, Miss Lawson, I'm going to introduce you, but um, you can go ahead and tell us a little about yourself before I do the official introduction. All right? You're hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you very clear. <laughs> what are you saying now I should do? Introduce uh, myself? Yes, I'm going to introduce you shortly, officially, but you can tell you, us your name and something about you. Yeah, you introduce me. <laughs> All right, no problem. I was going to do that, but because everybody introduced themselves, I wanted them to hear your voice um, first before you um, do that special. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, no problem. Well, yes, I'm having some issues. I have to be using my phone rather than a computer because I was fine initially, but once I go out and to come back, I'm having some issues. So I'm using my phone. But I'm Winsome Lawson and I'm passionate about education. I eat, sleep, talk, teaching is in my blood. <laughs> and I just love to teach. Teaching is just a part of my, it's a lifestyle. Everywhere I go, I teach and I, I'm, I'm not even aware that I'm teaching. If I go in the plaza, somebody said, you're a teacher, based on my response to a situation. So. I'm happy that the delay came because I was able now to, 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 to feel the passion in the teachers. Mr. Ugler is his name. Okay. I could feel him. I feel, yes. I feel a math teacher. I feel my, my parent from Cuba. She said she initially, she spoke first. The passion in the students as they express themselves or Sullivan and the others. I can feel them and I like the nature of what I am feeling and hearing. And I know, Miss Ricky, that this is going to be a great school. Thank you. And, and one other thing I want to start out by saying is that no one becomes good at anything unless you love it. So if, if, if what you're doing you're in love with, then it becomes a hobby. And a hobby is always something that you love to do, that you excel at. And that is my mantra for the school, that everyone who participates going to become excellent at what they are doing, whether you're a teacher or a student or a parent, and that you are going to love what you are doing. So, so that's it. I had initially a little, a little acronym for the students, and I realize it can also fit for the parents. But the first thing I want to say that in this time of pandemic, it's good that this school has been established because education is ongoing. We, from, we, from we were in our mother's womb until we die, edu we are being educated, whether consciously or unconsciously. And the brain is a muscle. And if we do not utilize the, our brain, every day then it's going to seize up it's like the athletes we hear of the athletes complaining about not being able to train so they train at home because just like the muscles in our leg and everywhere else in the body the brain is a muscle and the great ben carson the great neurosurgeon said if we live to be a hundred we would not have utilized not even one quarter of our brain power so I always want to encourage parents and students and teachers to see that life goes on, whether it's a pandemic or it's not a pandemic, and that we are being educated every moment, every day of our lives. The other thing I want to say is that STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is every day, every day. I am sitting in a chair because of all the of STEM. So every day we are being educated. And in the pandemic, especially for our young ones, you'll have to wear a mask around and to school when we get back face to face. And everything encompasses, there's science to it. There's biology, there's chemistry because we are breathing out carbon dioxide, taking in oxygen. And we hear that we have issues with masks if it's not the right material. We have people now who have started their own business. They become entrepreneurs by making fashionable, um, designing masks. 
So we have a lot. We have the technology with, the, with, with advertising on social media, Instagram, Facebook. And digital media, we have animation explaining about the virus and how we should wash our hands, especially for our young ones. We have everything encompassing, hand sanitizer. There's a student who shared that they want to be a dermatologist. So that was good. So you are at the right place at the right time. We are hoping that some of our students could come up with a hand sanitizer that, that, that could go on the market later on from practical classes that could give us the, the, the soap, sod area and moisturizing effect. So everything is, is, is encompassed in this whole program that is being done. It's innovation in science. So I am happy to be here. So what I want to leave with the students and with parents, parents are a part, it's, it's, a, it's a teamwork. When I used to teach actively, I used to make sure that I know my parents because Parents are a part of this whole process. Without parents, we cannot, as teachers, become um, successful. And the same thing for our students, they cannot be successful. So one of the things I want to leave with you is MAP. When I was thinking about it yesterday, I thought about the word MAP, M-A-P. And each, each letter has three components. And I just want to leave it with you. M for being motivated, and I, I can feel it already. Miss Ricketts is motivated, the teachers are motivated, the students, the parents, I can feel that. So if we are motivated to do what we are doing, remember what I said before, you cannot be successful at anything unless you are in love with it. And so we are in love with education, with learning new stuff, you know, we'll incorporate it in our everyday life. So, so motivated. We are motivated in this venture, all of us as stakeholders. Then the other thing is manual. There's a manual to this program. And the manual, Ms. Ricketts and the other teachers will expose you to it, is, is, is your syllabus. It's the map, so it encompasses the idea of a map. If you are going somewhere and you do not know where you're going and you have a map, now we have technology, we have GPS. So the GPS will tell us, okay, you're going to make a left turn on, on Avon Road and you're going to do that and that. So before that, we had maps. And if you couldn't read the map, then you would be lost. So the manual is very important. It's a syllabus. It's the guide. It's a curriculum. So when you get that, both teachers, students, and parents, we'll have to make sure that you understand the manual. You understand what is expected, what is your objective, right? And it's easy. So if today you are going to learn about water, water purification, because we need a lot of water in this pandemic to wash hands and to drink. We hear that we must drink a lot of water. All right. So you are going to make sure that you go to your curriculum or the manual, and it says, first thing, what is water? What are the components of water? What are the uses of water? And once you know that, then you know that it's covered. That's it. That's what the syllabus demands, what the curriculum, that's the manual. So then we can progress. And all assessments and tests, whatever you call it, will be on those objectives. And final point, so we are motivated, we have a manual, and then we are going to manage time. Time is money. And so even while we are here now, we have a little delay, we have glitches, but time is important. And I realize my time is important, so I am giving you. So we have M in the word map for manual, for, sorry, motivated, that's key. That's why I put it first. You must be motivated. You have a manual or your syllabus or your guide or your curriculum, and you have to manage time. So each parent, each student, each teacher, we will have a timetable, but outside of regular um, school, face to face with your tutors, I'm encouraging students and parents to make sure that they have time. They put in their own timetable to review what was taught and to assess and to write your questions and say, when next I meet with Miss or Sir, I am going to ask this question. There's a little part of the, the manual, the curriculum. 
a little, a, an objective that I did not clearly understood. So that's it. A now. A is for attitude. I put attitude first because if you have the right attitude, then you will, you will be able to, to achieve success regardless of what. So attitude is very important. Your attitude determines your altitude, how high, how much success you gain. So attitude. Then I have two other words under A, which is ability and aptitude. The, both of them are similar in, in nature. They are synonyms. They, they talk about what is it innate? What do you have? But even if the, the young man who says he wants to be an engineer or something, the, the, the little girl who wants to be a dermatologist, right now you may figure that you don't know enough chemistry, you don't know enough biology, you don't know enough physics, you don't know enough um, um, information technology, whatever. But you already have innate ability based on your attitude. And so you are going to use those for success. So A is for attitude, ability, and aptitude how well you can carry out the skills, whatever you have learned, and, and put it into practice. And finally, P is for passion. As I said before, I know passion is a big thing in this school. I can feel it. Teachers, students, and parents. So passion, that's number one. That's, that, that, that's, that's what passion is, is, is stronger than love in the sense that it, 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 it just saturates your whole persona your talk, your behavior. So whatever you're, you're pursuing, that is what is there. Can't talk to you on a Zoom meeting. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. There was a little glitching. Yes, yeah, so the passion, then the plan. So you have a plan, all right? And the plan will encompass the, the manual. How am I going to achieve my goal? What is my goal? At the end of the month or the week, what do I hope to achieve? And that is based on your manual, your objectives. And finally, progress. You must be able, so whether a parent is going to put up a, 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 some, something in the house or the students can draw it, whether it's a graph, whether it's, it's some some circles and there's a there's a path that you want to reach whether it's a mountain and you are at the foot of the mountain now and each week as you go along you put in a little sticker to say that's where i am but you must chart your progress so that's basically what i want to share so map means you are motivated you have a manual and you manage time a is for your attitude towards your studies, attitude to, to just learning in general, your ability and your aptitude. And P is passion. Just, just, just your whole persona, it, it envelops you, it saturates your being, you think about it, you plan for it, and then you chart your progress. So I hope I was able to generate some interest to motivate you and to give you an uh, overview of what you should do to be successful. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much, Miss Lawson, for charging us just now. I wanted to tell you a little bit about Miss Lawson, who she is. She was so powerful just now. Really appreciate um, those um, inspirational nuggets that you left us. All right, so I see persons dropping your reactions. You can drop your reactions where STEM, where technology. So you can click your reactions. Or if you don't know how to do, use the reactions, you're also welcome to give your feedback out loud. All right. So Miss Lawson, she has taught at Westwood High School for over 30 years. She has taught well. She has taught science biology and human and social biology. She's a specialist in science education. She's a retired head of department. She's very passionate about science. She's also passionate about students. And I must share with you that Miss Lawson inspired my passion for education. Miss Lawson believes in children when they don't believe in themselves. She basically adopted me from a very young age when I was, you know, going to high school and didn't know myself. I was going through a lot and she really took me over and she 
encouraged me. She, she was there for me. She supported me in so many ways. So I must use this opportunity to express my gratitude publicly to Miss Lawson for all she has done in my life and for instilling this passion for education. And just as though she inspired my life, the reason why I became a teacher, I must admit, Suri asked me this last week when he had a one-on-one -on -one with her. Suri said, Miss, why did you become a teacher? What inspired you to become a teacher? Because Suri also wants to become a teacher. And I told her the story that when I was growing up, my teacher had such an impact on my life and I wanted to impact other person's life. So Miss Lawson is that teacher who had that indelible mark on my life. She supported me from high school right throughout college. And even now, she's still supportive as you're seeing right now. She has come on to help us. And that is why we really appreciate her. We say thank you. And that's what our team want to do. We want to inspire other person's life. So your interactions with us won't just end here. We want to be there with you throughout. If you're moving on from primary to high school, we want to be there to support you. If you want to move on to college, we want to be there to support you and even beyond. So you've entered into our family. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to a great time. All right. If anybody wants to share anything, um, you know, you feel so led us to share how you felt about that. We're open to that. And then we're going to our icebreaker section. So anybody has any um, thing? That I just want to, to thank Miss Lawson for her words. I took like about five different inspirational quotes from her speech. <laughs> and I am so grateful that you use the word map to um, describe what the year ahead would entail because as um, one of the moms, I can't see, her, but it's a Galaxy S7 mom um, said, as she was lost, I was lost. And I'm sure many of us were lost when all this pandemic and should we go back to school? Should we stay home? The schools are pressuring to go back to school, but we feel afraid. So it's so good to have a map to guide us you know, so that we are no longer lost, not only on this new, um, you know, but this new normal that is going on, but also with the new school year, because it's very new to us. It's already new to me because I am very unfamiliar with Jamaican educational system. And then to make matters worse, I don't have an institution anymore. <laughs> so to have a map is so important, especially if the map is guided by so such powerful um, words like you know passion and, and attitude and um, motivation. <laughs> so thank, thank you, you so much, Miss Lawson. I really, I really wow, you inspire me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Anybody else want to share? Any feedback that you have? how you felt about this um, presentation. Thank you. Yes, let me say, um, going through college, that's what the lecturers would always say, that if you do not have a passion for what you are doing, then you will not do well at it. I, I, that really hits me because I am passionate about literacy. And um, one thing that has made me want to help out students who are not so good at reading. I realize that some of the students who do not know much about reading are, um, they are not doing well. That sometimes I see for myself where teachers or parents or other persons would kind of push them aside and tell them things that you can't do this or that or whatever. So um, I would want to put myself in that position to tell students who see themselves that way that anything is possible. Because as someone says, in, I think it was the first teacher with Christ, all things are possible, right? So if someone is telling you that it is not possible for you to do that, just believe that with Christ, it is possible. So I believe that as educators, we should be, um, motivated to motivate students who see themselves as not being able to do something. So I really thank her for all of that. It encourages me to even push harder and it also encourages me to help students to find themselves. Thank you again, Miss. I appreciate that. 
All right, thank you so much for giving your feedback. All right, we're so happy, Miss Lawson. Thank you. All right, now to give the official thank you to Miss Lawson, if no one else has any um, feedback, we're gonna go to Miss Jenkins, who will give us our our um, vote of thanks to Miss Lawson. Miss Lawson, Miss Winston Lawson. I mean, that was that was. A lot. I just consumed it. I mean, it was short, but for me, it was a lot. It was profound, and I'm sure other persons feel the same way. You touch words like passion. I mean, when it comes to even subjects as man, mathematics, you have to have passion to teach math. You touch words like ability and attitude. I mean, we can all we can all attest that these are very important, especially when you're dealing with children. I was just there and I was listening to you and I was just looking into to your years of service. I'm saying to myself that this lady indeed had an impact on children. Like honestly, I was there and I'm saying, this is a story where I'm talking, she knows what she's talking about. And I feel so proud to be the one giving the official vote of thanks. Thank you, madam. We really, really appreciate the time that you invested here. We are really grateful. Thanks again. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Jenkins. All right. And thank you, Ms. Larson. Thank you so much for sharing. We um, really appreciate you. All right. And the charge that you gave us. And we'll definitely try our best to put everything that you have told us into practice going forward. Thank you. All right, so our little icebreaker section. Now what we're gonna do, it's all technology. We're all in this technological age. Some of you are not showing your faces as yet, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a little um, icebreaker. You're gonna give us your best selfie. We're gonna create a school group. I'm gonna do that shortly, but you're gonna give us your best selfie. So I'm gonna put the number that I wanted to send it to. So your best, oh, Tajina is joining, your best selfie. So take out your phone, say them out, and give us your best selfie, all right? All right, so here is it. All right, so let me just give you the number that you can send those amazing selfies. So everyone, teachers, students, children, everybody, your best selfie. And what we're gonna do is, when we create the group, we're gonna um, have a little trivia where you'll see the person's selfie and you'll tell their names. And the person who guesses most names will be our winner. All right, so let me send the number where you can send it to. Don't worry, I won't post your photos without your permission. So if only if I have your permission, then your, your photos will leave this space and that's for everybody you can't um repost anybody's photo unless you have their permission all right so you can go ahead and send me your best selfies so i'm gonna go ahead and take mine take out your phones take out your phones take out your phones all right not seeing your phone so hold them up if you're using um zoom for your phone you can always leave out of it and go into your selfie part all right yes i'm seeing those phones seeing those phones seeing those phones all right so sending your best selfie not seeing any as yet all right your crazy selfie moment Nice selfies, they're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. Nice, nice. So we're gonna create the group and then at the end of the day, we're gonna guess, um, we're gonna match name to face. So you're, uh, you're gonna see a person, you're gonna see one person and you're gonna say, okay, this is Miss Lawson. Okay, this is uh, Mrs. Saffron. You're gonna say, okay, this is Mrs. O'Sullivan. This is Britt Mitchell, Miss Mitchell. This is Miss Taylor. So it's a means of getting to know everyone. If you don't have a phone and you don't have camera, 
don't worry yourself. We're gonna have a trivia just for you. Somebody saying they don't have the phone. Is there, but there should be camera on your tablet. You can use your tablet, that's fine. Use the camera on your tablet and use your sister's phone and send it in. All right? Somebody sharing screen, let me, um, I think it's by error, so let me come off of it. All right. All right, trying to stop the screen sharing. Galaxy SM, I think this is sorry. Your screen is sharing. Right, let me just turn no, it. No, that's Zion's. Zion? Oh, your screen is sharing. All right, let's fix that for you. All right, so we won't have that accident again. All right, perfect. I see, I'm seeing the selfies coming in. They're coming in, they're coming in. Nice, nice. Thank you. Awesome. I love these selfies coming in. They're so beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So you can keep them coming in. What I'm going to do, we have, we're at the presentation section. We'll be telling you a bit more to get you to know about Western STEM Academy and all the questions that you have, this is where we're gonna answer all those questions. So if at any time during the presentation, you have a question, you can go ahead and ask me. We're wrapping up nicely, we're almost at the end, right? So let me go ahead and pull up the presentation. This is your kids. Good morning. You're hearing me? Somebody called just now? Yeah, I'm just saying that um a strange thing. Um in order for me to use a camera on this computer. Yes. Um I'd have to turn off the zoom. So uh um, oh. so this is the only <laughs> I'm not sure how to go, go around this. What, the, um, for the photo? For the selfie section? Yeah, for the photo. Okay. I took um, it on the phone. You okay, can, my phone. I don't have Zoom on the phone. No, you can take you can use the computer for the for the Zoom and use the phone for the for the selfie and then send it to me via WhatsApp. Okay, all right. All right. Anybody else having a challenge or that challenge? Selfies are coming in, they look really nice. You're gonna see everybody's selfie later on. Do I have your permission to post your selfie in the group? If I don't have your permission to post your selfie in the group, you can tell me, all right? So if you have a problem with your selfie being posted in the group, the group is gonna be the group of parents and students that are here now. If you are not comfortable with it, then just send me a private message that it's, um, but I feel like everybody will be comfortable, but for any reason, yeah, that your wish will be granted, all right? Okay, and when the photos are in the group, um, 
we'll go from there. We're gonna um, have the activity later. All right, now, we're at the presentation section where I'll be telling you a bit more about Western STEM Academy, what we'll be offering and what um, the type of the quality of education that your child will be receiving. So welcome to Western STEM Academy. The STEM again stands for, anybody remembers what it stands for? Who remembers? You can go ahead. I won't see if you're indicating, so you just have to like just stop because I'm off the Zoom part. Currently, I'm in PowerPoint, so you can just go ahead and speak um, if you have question or if you want to answer anything. I want to answer, Miss. Go ahead and tell me. I'm happy. STEM. The meaning of STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. All right, perfect. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I love that. Very good. Very good. All right. So um, we're going to continue. Welcome to Western STEM Academy. We're so happy again to have each and every one of you here, our guest speaker, our parents, our teachers, our students, everybody who is here, we thank you so much. We thank the hardworking team of persons who have been behind everything, the persons who made the calls, everybody. We welcome you and we thank you so much. All right. Now about us at Western STEM Academy and what to expect from us. Now Western STEM Academy, as I was, um, as was stated earlier, we're an online learning academy that focuses on STEM education. So we'll be focusing on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but we'll be also providing opportunities for development in all subject areas. So all subject areas will be offered. However, they will take on a STEM approach. What we mean by a STEM approach is that we're going to relate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Or in simpler terms, we're going to relate every subject area that we teach or every lesson that we teach to everyday life or to real world situations where students can use problem solving methods to come up with solutions to problems that we face. So, you know, sometimes when you go to school and some things, it, you learn them and you're like, when will I ever use this again? That's what we're, um, we're trying to bridge that gap at Western STEM Academy where everything that you learn in class, you will see the relevance of that in your everyday life. Sounds good so far? Sounds like something you'd want to be a part of? Yes. All right. Yes, yes. Awesome. So there's so much going on around us and we want our students to be more than just observers of information. We don't want you to just be out there, all our students just getting information, getting information. But at, STEM, at Western STEM Academy, what we'll be focusing on, our students will be using their experiences to influence the learning or the quality of education that they receive so it won't be just a teacher talking to you like oh i'm talking to you no it will be more interactive in terms of the students will share their experiences share um their cultures with us and that will influence how we teach and the type of education that you receive that will be very beneficial to the children's everyday life so you can expect quality education from us from grade one to eleven expect um experienced tutors who are passionate about education expect um, a team that is here to guide you every step of the way expect to have a good time we're all about fun right okay so this is what we teach life skills we teach life skills our curriculum is in line with the ministry of education the national standards curriculum that's our guide we foster creativity critical thinking all your problem solving and as i said our students are not just users of information and technology where the students will be aiding in its advancement so our students will be participating in in more 
a rigorous form of education then so it's not just you come in here to just learn the basics but you're getting the basics but you're getting an advanced level where you will be able to create your own technological advancement and you're going to see what we mean by that any questions so far any questions all right so no questions so far so let's go to the other one um told you who I am earlier. My name is Feli Surikits, Educational Specialist, Founder and Managing Director of Western STEM Academy. So we have a team of persons, a team of persons who are passionate. No, I can't do it alone and that is why I have this amazing team. So our focus is not just have an I approach to everything, but our students, our parents and our staff, we will work as a team, as a loving family unit to get things done. So thank you so much to the team. So now the team has gotten bigger. The team is not just um, the staff members, but it's also our parents and our teachers and our students who are team. So we thank you. All right. Now at this time, our parents will be sharing their expectations. I've been talking a lot. It's time to hear from you now. What are your expectations? Go ahead, don't be shy. No, you're not shy. What are your expectations? Mrs. Sullivan. Mrs. Sullivan? Hello, yeah? Yes, I'm hearing you perfect now. My expectations. Um, it's about my child getting an experience. So, Yes, it is about learning, but it's also about socializing. It's about meeting new people and having new friends online and um, learning from peer as well as learning from his teacher. Because sometimes I remember for me personally, a friend would probably be able to explain something in my lunchtime or my break time at school. Um, and I never really get it in class, but they could help me. Perfect. Thank you so much. We love so, that. Right, and um, I am a lot more comfortable. I'm, as a matter of fact, right now, I am saying, okay, I think I deserve a pat on my shoulder. I did something good for him. <laughs> so I'm a lot more comfortable now. <laughs> <laughs> After this session, you know, has progressed. My heart is down and I feel a part of the family already. Welcome. <laughs> We're family. Welcome. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else has any expectations of us that you want to share? We're here for that. Even teachers, you can um, give your expectations. Parents, students, everybody is welcome. We're all family, remember? I see uh, All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Miss. Sorry. For, um, for me, you know, Basically, what Ms. O'Sullivan said um, is way more than just the academics, and I am so happy that you're not stressing that so much with the group learning, and it's more about interaction and, and showing them a different way because we're living in a different world right now. So I just look forward to them having a lot of fun and being able to socialize here with the new friends and, um, and just creating a, a new community with um, the STEM. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Anybody else? You can share your expectations. Aiden, you wanted to say something, you know, Aiden. What are your expectations? We want to hear from you. You're muted, so when you're ready, you can unmute. No need to be shy, we're here. You're muted, Mrs. Forrester. You're muted, Miss Forrester. Oh, you're just prepping him, that's fine. All right, okay. he's ready now? I guess you're a bit of introverts. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine, um, man. Expectations. Um, of course, everybody wishes the um adequate 
um, teaching learning experience. Um, you kind of catch me off guard because I'm not really the type for the impromptu. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, <laughs> not really the impromptu type. So I guess Aiden got that from me. But um, as a science teacher myself, awesome. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. I was more curious, the, the math teacher, well, everybody's used to math and the sciences. You have to be physically there um, to, to get a hands-on training. So I was a bit curious, especially for the math, as in how you go about, I mean, with the online, you know? I was just curious as to the challenges into, to getting students to learning the different concepts in math and so forth. So it's not necessarily, it's just more curiosity. Expectation, I just expecting that um, Aiden comes out of this. I don't know how long he's planning to stay because he's, uh, I'm expecting that he should return to school. Um, hoping that all is well, the, the, the school has devised some plan that I'm comfortable with, but if not, then yeah, I see him continuing with the, um, they're planning to do online as well, but I couldn't wait. So with respect to the teachers, um, <laughs> don't spoon feed him. <laughs> Um, that's just, just those things. Just uh, allow him to, because I, I don't know if it's my fault. <laughs> I baby him a bit sometimes, so he's a bit um, shy, but he's a pretty bright guy, um, student generally. But I want more, him to be a little bit more assertive and more critical thinking, more analytical thinking. And um, I'm hoping that um, his teachers can challenge him because he has this tendency to shy away when things get a bit challenging. So that's just really mainly it. And I'm curious about the math and the science, especially how you're going to use the online to bring that out. Okay, anything, Aiden? You have anything to okay. say? Anything you expect of your teachers? Well, I I expect them to um to work to like have uh, the English teacher is here. The English teacher is joining tomorrow. She's joining tomorrow. <laughs> I have, but I expect them to not get angry at the students that are that not. Thinking, not paying attention. Yeah. And Mark, too mad. And Mark, you, this is, he is one of the top students in his class. So uh -huh. I am, but then I'm like, expression, yeah. you know? So I'm hoping there's somebody there who can help me in that regard. Yes, ma'am. To help pull him out of his, um, you know, that shy, shyness. So that's just basically it for me, personally. Yes, ma'am. Thank okay. you so much. Yes, he's not finished. Aiden, go ahead. I think I want to be a dermatologist. Look at that. Amazing. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> yes, mommy, he wants to be a dermatologist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's what he wants to be. All right. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing that. And in terms of your expectation as it relates to what um what math and science will be like, I must share with you something I didn't say that although this is our first official intake of students for a new school year per se, we have been operating online since March, really. We have been fully online. Um giving students um, quality education. Now, as it relates to the feedback of our students where math and science are concerned, they have been very appreciative of 
our methods of delivery. That's in a slide by itself in terms of our methods of delivery, what that's going to be like in terms of especially our hands-on air because that's critical to us. That's, from, that's our basis, that's our foundation. So what we do, we use a lot of online tools. We actually have um, online labs where we'll be doing a lot of online experiments. Now, these experiments do not just stay online. Your um, Aiden will be doing experiments at home, so get ready for that. So what we do, we actually have a hands-on education. So we're looking at the computer screen. They're interacting with online content as it relates to mathematics and science, but they're also doing work in the home. So they'll need their own area where they will be doing a lot of hands-on stuff. They'll take their pictures, they'll send their pictures in. So for us, it's not just about sitting and looking at a screen all day it's very hands-on we have a lot of experiments and um we also have a youtube page that i'm going to tell you about shortly the purpose of that will for all parents to, to track what's going on so you'll able to see what activity is going on in grade three in grade 10 so you'll see everything that's going on there we have some we haven't posted any experiments as yet per se but we do a lot of hands-on and for um you said that he can be a bit in, he's in he's an introvert what we do we offer a safe learning space for all students so he's gonna get so comfortable in this space because our classes are small that um you will hear him talking so much that you're gonna say where is the Aiden that was there on september 7th he wasn't talking, but look at him. No, he's just talking in the house. So that's what um, that's what we have seen happen. We had a summer school program, had some sorry, we had some introverts as well, and that's um, that's the result that we um, attained. Tajina is here. She is a testimony for um, summer school program. Tajina, are you here? You want to share what um, what it's been like with Western STEM so far? Still taking expectations. Repeat, but repeat miss. I want to tell us what it's been like with Western. Morning. Good morning, Tajina. What? And Miss Dawn is there too? Miss mm -hmm. Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here listening to you guys. Awesome. Good morning. Hello. Welcome. I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself here and tell us about your experience with us so far because we have some new parents and you've been with us since. <laughs> The beginning of summer. So you're gonna tell us who you are and assure our parents that they're in good hands. All right. Hello good guys. Good morning. <laughs> Hello guys. Good morning. My name is Don Thompson. Um, a proud mom of Tajina Russell. Um, I, wa I was contacted by Mr. Kitch um through Facebook, asking me or introducing me to her um program. And I didn't hesitate to do it. I questioned her on it, and the response was good. My daughter has been on it since August, um, where I did the summer class, and then I did the one-on-one -on -one, um, session, and I'm now I'm gonna do the class, the full-time class with her. So far, it has been a great experience. I have no regrets doing it. Um, I have seen improvement. There is still room for improvement. Yes. And I'm, I know at the end, by the end, I will be seeing great results. The, at the end of each session, the report that I get from her, from the teacher, it is excellent, extraordinary. Couldn't ask for anything better. And I am very happy. Um, my expectation is that um, at the end of this session, entering to Gina will be going into 10th grade. Yes. Um, at the end of the class, um, for her to do a few CXC subjects, yes. to challenge her, and for her to challenge herself more. She's a brilliant child, and I know she can do it, but just to push her more. And, um, for me not to be pressuring her. As a um, parent, you know, everybody expect the best for their child, but sometimes as parents, we ask for too much. And I hope um, at the end of this program, she will be able to do a few CXC. And I'm still hoping that Miss Ricketts can still assist her even when the class is off. 
So no I still problem. need you as a tutor. No problem. To guide and to motivate, continue to motivate her. And I, as I said, I have no regrets and I thank you for introducing me to it. Thank you. So for that's that. my input on, on the class. Thank you. And thank you so much for being on board. I must admit that um, Ms. Thompson, we, um, I contacted her via social media and it was so good. We've become literally like family. We, you know, it's been just a great relationship so far. And that's why I asked her to share because mm -hmm. she's been working with us so far. So to ease um, any, um, how you feel so far so that you can be more comfortable with us and trust that you're in good hands. This is a great program. I would in I, I even um for now we're in a grade nine class at Black River where they put all the parents and I even encourage parents parents to join it because as I said you won't regret it parents trust me yeah, it's a good you. thing thank you so much thank you and that's not a paid advertisement I just asked her on spot like you know how is it because I didn't even realize that they were on because I was waiting on them so thank you so much she's just a parent like all of you who is here now she's just What's a parent who met us and she she decided to give it a try to see what will we offer to her child in the summer school program then she came back to her one-on-one -on -one, and here she is now at her official opening so thank you any more expectations? No more? All right. If you have any, just um, indicate and I'll hello. Miss, uh, Mrs. Going. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. So really, um, I don't have like a specific set of expectations, but because we've been out of formal school since March, Right, that's when they decided to transition. It's been, it was difficult. It was messy. It was uncomfortable. It was a lot of negatives. And since then, we have not been able to really find something that feels good for both of us. Right, for Sayuri, who is going into grade one, I don't know what to expect at all for primary school. Um, I love you. And so I'm really just looking forward to her getting the best out of this experience. Sorry. <laughs> For her to feel, you know, really comfortable and progressing because we have a lot of catching up to do. And so that is really what I want um, from this whole experience is to finally feel like we're getting back to stop theory, getting back to normal, something that works and progresses. So that's what we are, we're looking forward to here. Thank you so much. And we're looking forward to a great time with you. And we'll be definitely working with you to improve. So we'll do a little, it won't, I won't, I don't want it, to, I don't want to call it catch up, but we'll, in any um, areas that there was a bridge or there was a gap, we'll be assessing those gaps and we'll be going forward. So we're going to assess the gaps and we're going to try our best to fill those gaps. So we're not trying to play catch up because school continues for us, but we're going to, um, we're going to actually bridge all those gaps that they would have had because we know that they were out of school for, from March officially. Some persons had online school, some didn't. So we have a diverse group and we're grateful that you're here and we're going to be working with every child for him or her to maximize his or her true potential. All right? Thank you. Thank you. It's um, Mr. Jenkins, I'd like to share my expectations. Awesome. Go ahead. We're hearing from a teacher now. Yes, Miss Jenkins. Yes, I'm I'm always Jenkins again. Um for me personally, parents, I need us to understand that it's a teamwork, as Mr. Kids before mentioned. So Normally, in, even in, in, in the formal setting, I normally send contracts to parents. That's a personal thing for me. And it's, it's a contract just to say, um, it's, it's the students and I, we have a conversation and we say, this is how our classroom will go. And as little as the child is, even if it's a grade seven child, that's my strategy. And I will allow this child to see. So we are building this. You're saying that we won't do this inside this space. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you're going to sign. And I also send a copy to the parents for the parents to see and also affix their signature if they're in agreement. Why do I do this? It's a teamwork. I'll be here with your child. And I'm sure there are other teachers on board as my, my parent, Mrs. Foster, can agree. 
you have the child and you're interacting with the child. But at the end of the day, you will not be seeing the child every minute of the day. There are going to be things that the child is doing on his or her own. You need the parents on board to, to supervise, to be with that child, to provide support, to give you feedback also. Miss, this is what is happening. This is what I think can be done. Can you try this? Um, the child likes this. Probably you can use, you know, this um, method of reaching my child because this is what he or she likes. So for me, I'm expecting my parents to not be afraid to speak with me. Be with Miss Jenkins, reach out to me if it's a case where, say I'm teaching um, algebra because I'm a math specialist. Uh, and and there, there'll be topics I will be doing, um, Mrs. Foster, that yes, I will need your help to supervise your son. What if we're, we're drawing angles and, and I'm showing him how to hold the instruments and he needs some assistance, I'm not there with him. So yes, I will need your support. And I'm sure the other teachers will need your support as well. So I just want us to, you know, as it was already mentioned, but for it to be in the forefront of our minds that it's a teamwork. It's going to take all of us, the educators, the parents. It's all of us achieving this one dream for our children. All right. So thank you. That's, That's my, my true. Thank you so much for sharing your expectations, Miss Jenkins. And we're so happy that you're on board. And I feel I feel the passion as Miss Lawson was saying earlier. And we know it will be a great time. And I feel that the passion of the parents that they're gonna work with the teachers so we'll um, achieve. So different teachers will have um, their strategies. We welcome all of these strategies and we're asking for the cooperation of every parent because we want to have a great time. We want them to develop educationally, well, academically, we want them socially, emotionally, physically, in all aspects. So we'll be working with you and we really need your support as well. Thank you. But I feel like you're a very supportive group, but we're just telling you so far. All right. Thank you. All right. So if you have anything else to say as it relates to expectations, just let me know. But we're skipping to the next slide. All right. So steps to be successful. Everybody can take a picture or a screenshot of this um, page. Steps to be successful. In being successful, we really recommend that we set smart goals. Everybody does share their expectations, but in your expectations, we want everybody to have their individual goals. So we want our parents to have goals, our students to have their goals, and all our teachers will have their goals, and everybody who is on board will have their goals. But your goals have to be smart, meaning somebody can go ahead and read one of our little ones, can go ahead and read. Zion, are you there? Or any, any other um, primary student can go ahead and read for us. Who is there? Don't be shy. Any of our primary students can go read. Zach hey. can read. Yeah. Anyone? Tell her that you want to read. I want to read. Go ahead, go ahead, yes. What exactly? Wait. All right. So on the screen, we're seeing smart goals. Yes, perfect. What exactly will you do? Measurable. How will you know if you meet your goal? Achievable. What steps are you going to take to reach your goal? Relevant. What about your goal makes it important to you? Timely. When do you want to complete your goal? Wow, thank you so much. Such a powerful voice. Everybody give him a clap. You are so powerful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. We appreciate you. Thank you for telling us how to have smart goals. Thank you. All right. Now, we want everybody to write down at least two goals that they want to achieve from for this school term. You don't have to share them now, but at least have two goals. So our parents, our teachers, and our students. There's going to be an opportunity for you to share them, but just go ahead and write them down so you can have them. All right? While you're writing down your goals, some persons, they think of a goal and they believe that, hey, 
this goal is too big for me. I can't achieve this because of where I'm at. But what we want to remind you is that if you can film the idea in your mind, you must follow that film shot for shot, scene for scene. And that idea is worth making. So once you think about it, you can achieve it. So go ahead, write down your goals. And then as soon as you're finished, we're going to be talking about our online learning platform. So we're setting you up to be successful. Miss Ricky, um, just to inform you that Miss Allen is having internet challenges. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Miss Allen could just type in the or we're gonna tell her to type in the chat to introduce herself so that we can she's yeah. she's uh, typing. Okay, she's typing in the group. I don't um were all parents added to the group, Mr. Graham? Were you able to add all parents? Not all, all right, not all parents have been added as yet, but we'll be adding them shortly. All right, thank you so much. All right, so online learning platforms. So we have at Western STEM Academy a variety of online learning platforms that we'll be using. The primary one, we're on it now, Zoom, Schoology, Google Classroom, FET. Some of you might not be too familiar with FET, but what FET is, it's an online platform that allows you to do experiments. So this is where we'll do all our science labs, our technical labs, all our labs, our experiments will be done on FET, right? So it's an online experiment. So it's like your online science lab then, or your, uh, your online, well, we have our online IT lab. We'll tell you more about that, but this is our online science lab. We have Khan Academy. Khan Academy is an educational site that has videos. So it's like YouTube, but it has a lot of videos. The one that we'll be using, it has a lot of videos that are solely for educational purposes. We also have YouTube that we'll be using. We have our own YouTube channel. We'll be sharing that in the group for um, parents to subscribe so you can see information about classes, what's going on in a particular class. Yes. So these are the six main ones. When the students go into their small groups, we'll be showing them how to use the, all of these, all right? We won't show you in the big groups. We'll prefer to have you on a smaller, well, in a smaller, um, more intimate session. Any questions on these so far? Any questions? All right. One other thing that we recommend is a journal. Does anybody know what is a journal? Yazari, I feel like you want to tell us what you think is a journal. Yazari? Yazari? Yazar, sorry. Yazar? Mrs. O'Sullivan? Yes. All right. Yazar, what do you think is a journal? is a book, a small book that you use to like take notes or jottings in so you can revise the important points that you took in class. All right, thank you for or sharing. Or a recording box. All right, thank you. We love what you just said. Thank you. Now, our journal is going to be specific to how you feel about each progress or each step that you make. So it's very important for us to have your journal to say, how did you feel today in class? What was a good thing that happened in class for you? What was a not so bad thing that you wish um, um you could change or you wish it had never happened so we want all in addition in addition to your exercise books that you'll have um if that's if you're using exercise books that's if we don't push for them to have books um so it's not a must for them to have books for all subjects some subjects you'll need to have your books so like your math you'll need to be working out stuff but some of them especially were bigger students the bigger ones that is the bigger ones can actually um, record stuff on their computer on their device because they're technological all right so we're not going to bombard you and say oh you need to go out and get 50 exercise books we're saying that we're going for technology we're stem so we allow you to um have your recording devices to record information once you have permission you can record in terms of record the the class you can record in terms of 
take a picture of something that's going on and put it in a folder. So it has to be in a folder so you don't lose all the information. But if you're a person who write like me, I love to write. I'm, I tag yes, but I prefer writing down things then you can do that but it's important for all of us to have a journal it's a little book or a little part of your computer that you're gonna put down how you feel so you can write it or you can type it and you're gonna put it in a safe space how you feel as you progress in classes online classes it doesn't have to be only class but in terms of what's going on how do you feel about what's going on in the society how do you feel all right so we want all our students from grade one to grade 11 to have a journal. And that's going to help them with something that Miss Miss Forrester said earlier. Is it Miss or Miss, Mrs. Forrester? Not married to my father, Miss. <laughs> Thank you. I just wanted to be clear. So Miss Forrester said something earlier that's very important, expression. So having this journal is going to help our students to be more expressive, to build their vocabulary as they'll be expressing themselves through writing, all right? So the, um, we want our parents to help us get that done, all right? So you can write that down. Now, oh, there was a slide before that. In terms of others, in terms of your online book support, some persons asked about um, their book list and things like that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna give you so access to online books that you can use, where, because where the world is going, you'll realize that soon and very soon, the publishers will be start publishing these books online in eBooks rather than the hard copy. We're not fully there yet, so there are some workbooks that we're gonna recommend for each grade level, or some um, important books that you can and get however we're going to provide online access to books and educational materials so that's how Schoology will come in there will be a lot of information posted because what we believe at Western STEM Academy is that information evolves daily so you write a book yes so you write that this is the concept however tomorrow something might change and you won't go for all the books that are already out there to update that but that's what the internet does as long as we're using credible sources then our information is updated so we're going for a lot of ebooks and a lot of online information in addition to our books so we're not doing away with books but we're just telling you that it's gonna be blended so both your books and your online so hard copy books yes plus online support how do you feel about that do you feel like something that you would be open to parents how do you feel about that you're muted miss forrester how do you feel about that mrs aquanza miss campbell Miss Mitchell. I feel wonderful. <laughs> so. That's very good. Very good. Approach. That's very good because I, I mean, I express on, in our one on one meeting that um, I, a lot of the parents that I talk to are pressure, like they feel like they are behind. I don't even have the books and the books and the books and the books. And I, you know, it, we are need to get in our heads the fact that these are new different times and everything that we were accustomed to it's in the past and we just have to move forward and try to adapt as best as we can and this is this is an amazing way to do so so as long as we don't have to do one hipaa printing <laughs> I am, i'm wonderful <laughs> You mentioned the printing, and I assured you that you don't have to do a lot of printing. Once they have access to their gadgets, the information is going to be on their gadget. So there is not a lot that we're going to send. We might probably, I'm not promising you because different teachers will have different plans. So I have to respect um, what the teacher's desires are. But let's say a teacher wants you to print something just for a particular thing. It won't be a lot. But a teacher might, just might, just might, probably a one-off time. All right, but we're that is fine. It's, it, it, the problem is when we have to like print whole books per no, se. No, no, that's it's just insane. Yes. <laughs> so we're going for online. So everything will be online. Even their tests will be online, as you're gonna see um, earlier, um, well later. Right? Anybody else has anything to say as it relates to how you feel about that? Sure, Miss Ricketts. Sure. Um, I'm in agreement with the process um, or methods that you're going to be using where you know you have some books being used because in the past uh, my experience is that you buy this long book list of books and 
at least half are not even used at the end of the day. So um, I can appreciate the fact that, you know, it's a blended um, method that's going to be used here. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. So we seem to be in agreement with that. So we're, we're blending it. So we're not saying away with the books because books have um, valuable information, yes, but we're giving you online information that evolves daily. So the most current thing in, um, let's say, in IT or in language or in, say, Spanish or in social studies, governance, all those, all these topics will be giving you very current information. And that information most definitely will be in line with the, the curriculum that the Ministry of Education offers. So we're guided by their principles as well. And so we're inculcating the STEM. That's something that they're passionate about as well. So we're fully inculcating STEM into the national standards curriculum, all right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. And for CXC, you know, they'll have their SBAs. We're gonna talk more specifically to those groups. So you'll hear more as it relates to your group. But if you have any question, go ahead and ask. All right, so once you have no question on that particular subject, we can go to extracurricular activities. Now at Western STEM Academy, we're not just focused on academics, although it, say, it said academy. We're very much social, we're very much for holistic development. So we're gonna have extracurricular activities. You'll get the schedule in your packages. We'll have different clubs. This is not all of the clubs, but this is just an idea of what our club structure will be like. So we'll have our STEM clubs, which include science, robotics, tech clubs, math clubs. We'll have our debating club, and that will also be coupled with public speaking, so for persons who want to, um, you know, pursue these interests. We'll have quiz clubs, so we'll have a lot of online quizzes, online sports, so you'll um, have access to chess and those sports that you can play online, your job, all these sports. So you're going to hear more about that. We'll have 4-H club. Mr. Egler will be guiding us with 4-H. He loves 4-H. Right, Mr. Egler? You there? Mr. Egler? Yes, Miss, I'm hearing you. All right, perfect. So he's going to be guiding us with 4-H, and we also are planning to have music club. If there's any suggestion that you parents will have, you can feel free to post them in the group. Tell us more about your suggestions, and then we'll um, be happy to look into those and organize the logistics for them. All right? Thank you. All right, now assessment. We believe in assessment as well. So as such, we'll be doing weekly assessments. What I mean by assessment is we're gonna evaluate in your learning progress. It doesn't mean that every week you will have a test. It means that every week there will be a form of um, assessment to test what you, well, not to test, but to assess really what you have learned. How well are you progressing? Assessment can be in the form at the format of a presentation, it could be a video, it could be a PowerPoint, it could be an online quiz, it could be through a game, it could be a various activities as your teachers will be telling about the different assessments later, right? So assessment is not just tests, but we'll also have online tests, right? And we'll be giving feedback to our parents and to our students, right? So we we'll want everybody to track their progress. So at the end of the week, you're gonna get updates from us as it relates to how your child is progressing. So for our online platforms for all your grades, weekly feedback. All right, any questions on this so far or on anything that we've said? We're actually at the end of this part. Any questions? I know you have questions, you know, don't, don't be afraid to express yourself here. It's yeah, yeah. one question. It's something came to mind oh, since yeah. we're talking about tests and so forth. Um, the, when we were doing the one-on-one -on -one online, they did, now that I spoke to you about it in, in our meeting, they did the test, but this is something with you, it's something that would be recorded like in the physical school where at the end of the school year, once we go through, 
I will, at the end of the term, you get like the um, points and the report and all of that, just like in the physical school. Yes, ma'am. So you get a report at the end of the term, or probably I'm gonna tell you how you're gonna get how frequent you're gonna you're gonna get the official reports, but we'll definitely have one at the end of the term, and we might have a, a progress one at the midterm. Right, so we might have a progress one with all the points so you see the scores, but in addition to the scores, so that's mm -hmm. something that we're introducing. In addition to the scores, let's say for mathematics, for English, for Spanish, for science, in addition to the scores, so let's say 80%, 90%, you're going to see a social progression. How are they in class? How do we find them? So it's not just going to be a comment at the bottom to say, hey, is a is an excellent student you'll see the social progression that in week one he was very, um he was very active in class week two we realized that um he probably wasn't so active so you're seeing a social progression you're going to also see their strengths being outlined in our report system as well as their weaknesses so we, that's something we want to zoom in on so we'll have a strengths and weaknesses section so that you can track more than just their academic, but also their social progression. You see information about their involvement in club, whether they have any leadership positions, and we're gonna tell you more about all of those. All right? Okay, okay good. Um, I have a question. Go ahead. It's more to the parents though. Um, the student, your, your, your children, they don't attend other schools? Or does this platform allow for um, to do the two, to do a different, to attend these classes, online classes, but add, as well to probably attend um, online classes with the, their their actual school that they're enrolled in? Well, for for me, um, as Safra, Safran was saying earlier, it was. With the, with the school that they were attended to um, here in Kingston, it was so distasteful, it was so disorganized, it was so uh, with the principal and everything that I decided to not continue with the school from the Easter term. So once the Minister of Health said to close the schools, I went into the one-on-one -on -one that the government provided and they did online classes with the government on the, the remainder of the summer term. And once September was approaching, they said that they were going for the blended approach, um, meaning that once October 5th comes and the Minister of Education say, hey, you have to go back to school, the kids will have to go back to school. And I don't feel comfortable sending to school any at all with the virus going around, none at all. I have done many different investigations. I have spoke to people who have been positive, who has kids, and I asked them, suppose that she was going to school. She said, oh boy, sorry for the picnic them. You know, because she had the virus and she didn't know, and she could have spread it at school. So right now, going back to your question, I, hey, I am talking, sorry. Sorry about that. Enzo is making a shake. <laughs> so um, with your question, um, the school fee is the same for the online lessons, which are very still disorganized. And I don't I I feel more comfortable with Miss Ricketts approach and view, even though I just met her online the other day, than what the school is offering. So she is somebody whose aim is focus on the online experience, who knows how things have changed and understands that we have to adapt to this and we have to move forward in a different way. Their school is trying constantly to continue, like they're in the physical thing. Wear your uniform, really? <laughs> no, it, it doesn't make any sense. So I decided to just focus with a Western Academy and just forget about the school until things go back to normal. If they want to accept me back when it's safe to go back into the physical institution, we will try to get in again. If not, well, we will continue online. But I don't think it makes sense for me personally to have both things 
going on because I am confident that I will receive everything that my children need here. I hope that long sitting with the blender interruption answer your question. <laughs> it's not that good. Yeah, I, I share the same sentiments. Um, it's just that I really don't want him to get kicked out of. It's, he goes to, he attends Servite Primary School. I used to attend that school too, in case you didn't realize. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay, um, so what happened is that the, <laughs> once they're not going to the physical school, so we will fall into the home school um, and spectrum. Right. So we are applying for the homeschool so that the government knows that they're receiving education at home. Yeah. It's a long heck of a process. One hard. Hard. So, but we'll do it. Miss Rikas will help us. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and we'll do it after because the Ministry of Education explained to me that there's no rush, no you know deadline. They're not gonna send the police for you to see if you're picking them about school or not. So, um, once we're set, I am settled. Then I will start the process for homeschooling. So that will be um, for them. That, that's the way that the government will know that our kids are being schooled some way, somehow. And then um, when it comes to doing examinations like the um, PEP, they explained to me that even though mine went to a private school, they cannot deny them to go back and do the exam there. It is illegal for the school. So I said, well, I, they probably don't want them because I'm not paying them. They said they cannot deny them entry. So right now i don't feel like they're kicked out we just left just like many parents who cannot afford the school fee all of a sudden and they take the kids out of school and put them in a, a more affordable school that, that that's that's the situation so you know i don't feel like i'm missing on anything because i found somewhere else that offers what my kids need right now you know so well, I'm not sure what's the case for everyone else. As I said before, I also teach um, at the um, higher level, um, higher level, and we are planning to do blended. I teach one of the science subjects as well, so I have to be um, present. So my plan was, if Aiden was, if I'm not comfortable with what was going on at Servet, he, I carry him under my arm and he do some online while he's at my school. We have, it's adult students, so I, our experience in March, we didn't, we, we had things under control, but I was not comfortable they are easier to deal with, but I'm not comfortable with the primary school because when we went to a PTA meeting um, to find out what's the next the way forward, um, teacher and parents bundled together, even those persons had on their masks, but still, they're all crowded in a small space. And I, I'm saying if the teachers have no control, then of that sort of situation with adults, how are you going to have that um, control with these kids who are hyperactive and so forth. So my, uh, uh, with regards to um, this now, um, Western um, STEM, yeah. it's, my situation is unpredictable. I would, if it's such a case that I, because you're talking about having um, um, like a report at the end of the term, but my thing is unpredictable. I'm seeing how it goes if, I like it fine. I just don't want him to get booted out of his um, the former school. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing how it goes. But I'm not really comfortable with him going back, given that I'm seeing that they're, they have not, um, they don't seem as if they're organized. I'm not going to guinea pig my child. It is, it, you know, even it, we have to look at what is going on around the world. And so, so far, only Cuba I see that started this year, sent, uh, this week, sending the kids back to school. And uh, my high schooler has her high school friends there, mm -hmm. and they're supposed to be wearing their mask, but all they're doing is just taking selfies, everybody bungle up, they're kissing, they're hugging, sending selfies on Instagram and, and, and WhatsApp without their mask, and Corona is as bad in Cuba as it is here. So, uh, you know, we cannot, ask our little ones, seven, eight years old,
to wear a mask every day and practice social distancing when don't even adults can do it. You know, the government had to close the beaches again and close the river again because everybody bungle up in a one and go party and, mm -hmm. you know, and don't practice anything. So I just, unfortunately, I don't foresee a future where we're back to school anytime soon, especially with what's going on right now. And, and even if it, if it does reopen, it's just very insecure. It is very, very insecure. And I, I, I'll share my experience with you with the one-on-one -on -one because it was online. A lot of parents, um, their main concern was that the kids cannot sit in front of the computer. I don't know if my two boys, they're boys, you know, are alien or something, but at seven o'clock, they wake up, they pull out their laptop, and they plug in to their government class. It was over a hundred kids in each class. One was in first grade and the other one was in second grade. And they will sit down and they do their activities and they do the games and the teachers were very good and they did tests as well. So uh, in the afternoon, they will have extra lesson with this, the teacher from the school that they were attended to. And it was, it was an overkill basically because the teachers felt that they were, you know, they were not behind. Uh, although they were on their own with a teacher that they never met with a lot of kids online, and they were learning just as if they were in the in the regular classroom at school. So now that we have a, a teacher here that can interact with them really one on one and focus on them, I think it's going to be just perfect. It's, it's a no brainer, you know. All right. Thank you so much for the questions and the answers. Really appreciate um, our two parents who um, asked the question and the answers from Mrs. Aquans and the question from Ms. Forrester. Thank you. All right. Um, just to address a bit of concerns that we want to be clear on. All right. So we'll be operating school. We guarantee you that we'll be in operation. So we're going to be here um, having online school. Now, some students, um, well, some parents, as Ms. Forrester indicated, indicated, um, she indicated that she'll be on for the month, um, for sure. However, she's waiting on what um, the ministry says as it relates to going back to school. So we understand that some parents might want to go back to um, the physical space, while some parents would want to continue with um, us online. And we're all for that. We're all for um, continuing with us online if that's what you prefer, or if you prefer going to the physical space. Now, why I said going back to the physical space, I know it's really tricky out there. However, one situation, um, as Miss um, Miss Aquanza said, Mrs. Aquanza said, she said, um, she asked about the PEP. So that's usually a concern for many of our, our, our parents. No, you believe that your child is in grade six. And um, we'll tell you upfront that currently we, we don't have the PEP exam nor the CXC exam. So you'll still sit it at the centers. Now what we do, we help you to get yourself into a center so you cannot be denied the examination. So we'll be working with the Ministry of Education to ensure that our exam students get a center to sit their exam. In a year or two, we hope to have our own center to offer PEP and our own um, center to offer CXC, but we will not have that for 2021. However, we will be guiding all our parents to have the PEP exam. So you have nothing, that's the only concern that I'd say a parent, let's say in grade six would want to go back because they want to do the exam because of the fear. But as Mrs. Aquanza said, you cannot be denied the chance to sit the exam, that's illegal. You can't be denied. So you don't need to worry. And you can't really lose your space in a school because of what's going on. Many, um, many, many parents are pulling their children. So the schools are already under, um, in terms of spacing, and they're moving for a blended approach. So some classes are gonna be online, some are gonna be in, um, in there so you can't be denied education per se so if you want to continue with us longer but you're just fearful that you might lose your space we are here to guide you we're not going to say hey stay with us because we want to we want you to be with us that's not what we're about we want the best for your child so we'll help you to get a space to do the exam we'll help you if you want to get back into a physical school for any reason that's what we're here for we're really about your child 
best interest will work with you to identify what's best in your particular situation. So to answer the final question, some parents have indicated that they're going for the term for the year. Some persons have also said that they're going for the week to see what we're about. And I'm sure that particular parent is convinced that a week is not enough, right, miss? Not calling a name though, don't worry. So that's um that's what we are really about so we're here for you we're not gonna um we're not gonna hold it down and say hey don't go anywhere or hey go that's not what we're here for all right so just to be clear on that so if you feel um uncomfortable with anything reach out to the team of parents you don't even need to reach out to me you can reach out to another parent to assist you because we're all family reach out to a teacher who is able to assist you just the same and we are going to work as a team to get this done all right thank you All right, any more questions, whether to the parents, to students, to teachers, or to me? Any more questions overall that you, um, you want to be cleared on? I have some things written down, but go ahead with your questions. So um, I, I'm one of the newbies. Um, Hi, good day. How, how does the, the classes, is there a specific timetable? How do I go about getting the timetable and know what time? Um, my son is to log out for which particular class. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, each parent and student will receive a package. Your package is going to contain a list of items that I have over here. You'll have the calendar of events. You'll have your timetables. You'll have your Zoom login information for classes. You'll have the list of subjects that you're going to be doing this term. You'll have the names of your teachers, the list of things that you'll need for class, like your, your gadgets and secure internet connection as proper space for class, and our homework and assignment policy. So we want um, all students and parents to have that. You'll have our grading schemes, extracurricular activities, honor roll requirements, as well as other things um, that will be in your package. So by today, you should have a timetable for, well, all parents and students will have their timetable with the subjects that they'll be doing the time. So just to tell you, um, we start at nine because we want to give the students some time. We don't want them to wake up too early or too late. We feel like nine o'clock is an ideal time for students to get up. Some parents have to get them ready before going to work and things like that. So nine o'clock would be a good time for you to get everything settled and come on we're aiming for two to three hours so the we're going to about 12 30 12 30 one o'clock so two to three hours of contact time daily they'll have breaks in between so they'll have some break to you know go to the bathroom or get something to eat so they'll have breaks so the timetable will give you a detailed breakdown as it relates to what time is that class what time is your break what time is your lunch what time we're ending on that particular day all right, we have some more students who are joining us tomorrow. Our class sizes are actually going to be very small. We don't want big classes because we want individual attention for your unique learning style. So our, class, our classes won't exceed, let's say, 12 at the moment. So the most we'll have in a class right now is 12, most. And do we have a class with 12 already? Um, let me see. Grade 9 has 9. Probably only the grade nine will um, read so much. Our grade three class is small. We have three students. Our, you know, our classes are generally, typically small. All right? So that's what we're going to be doing. So what we're going to be doing. We want a more child to get individual, or children to get individual attention for their unique learning styles. All right? Any more questions? Thank you. I, I'd just like to say to Miss Foster, um i i too Forrester. she's muted. Forrester. i'm sorry um, yes i too my, my son is supposed to be going into grade seven he just finished the pep and was placed as i said at um, the cedar grove academy the school has informed me that they will start the blended thing um a week on at school and a week off from school um i know it's a sacrifice for most of us but we didn't know the school was going to be closed. Schools were going to be closed in March. They just closed them. They just told us a Thursday evening not to send back our children, right? Um, so for me, I understand your concern, but 
I'm kind of trying to balance it where I'm, I'm going to continue to let him be a part of this family that is solid and, and um, continue to go to school here. But if the school does open with this week on, week off, then as I haven't applied for homeschooling or anything, so he will, so I will try to let him go to the institution as well. So I'm trying to juggle both of them. I know it's a sacrifice, but think about it because what will happen, for the fear, my fear is that, say November, December, and then all of a sudden they tell us that, oh, January, don't send them back to school again because yeah. the numbers have skyrocketed or something mm -hmm. has happened. Um, I don't want that. So even if that happens, I still want him to have stability here at Western. You know? So think about it. So yes, he's juggling it there, but here is stability. Here, it doesn't matter if the pandemic, you know, soars across the entire globe. He'll okay. still be able to log in here, see familiar faces, you know, and learn. So that, that's yeah. my take on My situation, they, they, they were saying, uh, um, well, I don't think I could have managed the week on, week mm -hmm. off, but they were saying um, about three days contact face-to-face -face contact and other days online. I don't or, no, how is it? Two days contact. So I guess there's a one day where nobody, the students, he wouldn't get to go to school. Honestly, I don't want him to go, but I would still want him to be part of their online sessions so that at least it is said that he is still a part of the school. So that is, that is how I'm planning to do it now. I'm not comfortable with the face-to-face -face, um not comfortable at all okay so, so we'll see more then. likely more likely the plan is to continue with the um western academy but as i said just unpredictable just watching yeah so i understand fair enough all right for those who want um assistance with the homeschool application process i'm going to be helping you with that i have all the documents yes i see your hand i have yeah, I have all the documents here. I received them directly from the ministry because Mrs. McDonald was like, hello, I need those. So, and, and Mrs. Aquanta said, um, we need assistance with that. So I'm going to be um, sending, so indicate your interest in the WhatsApp group. I'm going to send you the, the form and we're going to be helping you go through it. Yes, it's very lengthy. They want a lot of information, but there's no deadline and we are going to help you throughout that process. All right. So nothing to worry about if you feel so you don't need to worry if you're homeschooling your child you're not gonna get into any trouble we're here we're actually gonna help you to um, get this permission so they have the relevant document to say hello my child is being um, homeschooled with Western STEM Academy all right so we're in dialogue and it's a partnership with them as well and we want to execute this in, um, in a good way all right All right, so any more questions? Any more questions that you have? You can go ahead. We have space for one more question. So one more question. Any comments on anything, anything that you're not clear about and you want us to clear it up because we're almost at the end. We're wrapping up, wrapping up. Now is the time. Anything that you want to ask us? Miss Blake, are you clear? Are you okay? Your mom is there, Miss Morrison. Miss Morrison. Dina Shea. You're good. Or maybe she's not here. Yeah. All right, we're almost at the end.
All right, so tomorrow, by way of updates, we're going to start at 9. You'll be meeting your form teachers. So we're going to send you information as it relates to who your form teacher is to, today in the package as well. So tomorrow at 9, you're going to come on with the same link. We'll have a general meeting. You're going to meet your form teachers, and then we're going to branch off into our small groups so that um, the relevant parents and students will be with their form teacher, and we're going to have a small group session to meet your teachers, go through the timetable and go through the calendar of events go through basically what you're going to be doing so we're going to get started as of tomorrow so tomorrow you're going to be getting um getting acquainted with the form teachers and your subjects and on wednesday we should be having official start of classes we might not have classes per se tomorrow but we'll have the introduction You'll meet the various teachers, you'll meet some more students. So we'll have introductions tomorrow in a smaller group level. So you'll join back tomorrow with the same link and we're gonna be on here and then we'll break off, <clears throat> sorry, into smaller groups. All right, is that clear to everyone? Any questions on that? Tomorrow, same time, same link. So we'll start at nine. Okay, in a smaller group setting, so you'll meet your, the, the person who will be guiding you for the term. All right. So if there are no further concerns or questions or any feedback, we like to say thank you. Thank you so much for everybody who was with us from nine o'clock or even if you joined after nine. Thank you so much to everyone. We thank our guest speaker, Ms. Lawson. We thank our parents. We thank our students who stayed with us. We thank all our teachers who are here with us and who shared. And we're looking forward to an amazing time. So expect some information in your emails from us tomorrow. If I don't have your email or if you have not been receiving emails, send your email in the WhatsApp group. Everybody will be added by the end of the day and you'll get information from us. So thank you so much everyone for coming. Thank you for trusting Western STEM Academy to be your online provider of excellent educational services. And we're looking forward to an exceptional month, or for some persons, exceptional week, month, term, year, or even years with you. Thank you so much. My name is Feli Sorikits again, and I'm happy to have you, and I'm happy to have been here with you. I thank my team. We thank you so much, guys. Have a lovely, oh, I, my video is off. Have a lovely afternoon, everyone, and see you tomorrow at nine. All right? Thank you so much. So you can say goodbye. Same to you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Take care. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye, take care. We're gonna have a meeting, but um, the teachers, you can take a break. <clears throat> you can take a break. I know you're tired and you need, um, you need to eat and all of that. So you can take a break and I'm gonna make a group for you, all of us, and we'll have a meeting later, a short meeting, all right? Thank you, bye-bye. All the teachers are left on no. Bye-bye. Hey, Mrs. Johnson Haynes. Hey, Mr. Egler. <laughs> Yes, we can. <laughs> We're gonna see you later. All right, take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.